Let's cross to the U.S. where the uh, markets uh, is going to open uh, very shortly. Europe is in red as we speak, but the futures, the stocks futures are looking a little bit uh, green in the morning before the opening bell on Wall Street. The Dow futures is now stronger by 0.48%. The S&P 500 futures about 0.34%. Let me get that. Are you sure we're going to get the right out one? Yes, that's the right one. Okay. So, 0.05% uh, negative for the DJI. Uh, I, I apologize there. Those were the last week, Friday closes. The futures is a negative opening for the Dow Jones, the S&P 500, and the Nasdaq futures all in the red as we speak live at this time. Okay. So, it's dinner time in Asia where the market's Try to get sideways on Monday as investors looked past a weekend of inauguration uh, in the United States, including uh, and awaiting clarity on policies, including plans uh, to possibly renegotiate the North American uh, Free Trade Agreement and abandon the Trans Pacific Partnership deal. The Australia's ASX uh, 200 fell 0.8%, uh, the Nikkei 225 in Japan shared 1.29%, so that's quite massive for a day, way down by advancing currency, the yen, and the dollar-yen pairing slipped below the 104 handle. In South Korea, the Kospi closed flat 2065. The political saga around President Park continue to claim more casualties where the culture minister and former presidential advisor, or, uh, advisor arrested on Saturday. Mainland Chinese markets were positive. Uh, the Shanghai Composite was higher, 0.43, and the Shenzhen Composite also up 0.87%. Let's get back home here in Nigeria, where we're looking at the decision by the Nigeria's Monetary Policy Committee. Uh, the meeting starts today, as usual. The decision will be 2.30 tomorrow. You need to stick with Channels Television live here tomorrow from 2 o'clock in the afternoon for a live coverage of the first monetary policy meeting decisions of 2017 and the first briefing by the Central Bank Governor Godwin Mayfield tomorrow afternoon. We're covering that for you with a panel of studio analysts for you from around this time tomorrow. So stick around, watch the channel. But let's get a sense of where the fixed income is today when we start in a brand new week and the final food trading week in the new year, Bimisola Belu Arumire is joining us from Diamond Bank in downtown Lagos. Bimisola, thanks for coming through to us. Thanks for having me. A very interesting uh, day to start a brand new week. Uh, what's the market looking like? You folks are keeping your eyes, fixed income dealers, you're keeping an eye on the MPC meeting? Uh, well, the market has uh, opened on a cautious note, even though we've seen pockets of buying and selling. Uh, the market is trading cautiously ahead of the MPC, which uh, I think they are meeting today with uh, outcome tomorrow. We are hoping that um, rates will be maintained. Uh, judging by the current um, recession in the economy, it doesn't support an increase in rates. Uh, instead, uh, people are looking at a rate cut to boost um, output. However, with the current rise in inflation and the weak currency, also a rate cut is also not favorable. So we are thinking that rates is better to be maintained uh, tomorrow at the MPC. Uh, that's what your analysts and traders looks like a bit of a consensus since last Friday. Uh, we're getting a lot yeah. of reports in on, on, on keeping interest rates unchanged. So what will be that? Uh, that means nothing will change. or Will anything change? A direct question to you. Will anything change as far as pricing and Naira bonds and treasury bills concerned? Uh, well, um, basically, maybe not because of the MPC, but we are hoping that um, market will be injected with FAC this week. So we are seeing pockets of buying, both on um, the Treasury bills and the bonds market. We are seeing uh, buying a bullish interest based on the anticipated liquidity that is coming into the system this week. Though with cautious stance, uh, the buying might come after the outcome of the MPC tomorrow. We've seen rates at uh, fairly stable levels, both on the bond market and the treasury bills market. From where it opened at 10 o'clock to around this time, it's still trading at the um, same level. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. We appreciate that. Uh, weighing in on the conversation today. Bemisola Bilu, Arumire from Diamond Bank. Do have a great day.
Let's return to the world of oil, where energy ministers from OPEC and non-OPEC countries have struck a positive note regarding their agreement last November to cut oil output as a committee set to monitor compliance with the deal meets for the first time last weekend. Eleven of OPEC's 13 members, along with 11 non-OPEC countries led by Russia, held first meeting on oil deal compliance in Vienna, Austria, and they agreed to make cuts for the first half of 2017. Now, OPEC members, Nigeria and Libya, both suffering setbacks in production, were given exemptions. The ministers said 1.5 million of almost 1.8 million barrels per day had been taken out of the market already, and 100% compliance is hoped to be achieved in February. I am uh, satisfied that I'm satisfied. As I've said a number of times, uh, the markets are on their way to rebalancing. It's just happening faster than it would have without, uh, without the declaration of cooperation that we signed with uh, the For the extension of the uh, uh, another six months, uh, again, as said earlier, we will review the data at the end of the six months period and we will uh, meet in Vienna in May and we will consider the extension uh, if required.